Hey guys, it's me again, and today I have been outside gathering some herbs that grow naturally, and I'm going to kind of share with you all what herbs those are, um, plant life, stuff like that that you can use in your magic and incense and, you know, your bouquets and everything. I've also been growing, planting some herbs, rearranging my altar space, so I'd like to share that with you all today. So today... I've re made a little space for my growing table and my grow light. It's kind of a little southern ingenuity there. And so I have growing in here some lavender, echinacea, calendula, basil, cilantro, sage, dill, and parsley. I just started it today, so I'll keep you all posted on how they're doing. I'm getting all my herbs that I use a lot of gathered up. So that's my plan to get organized. Y'all know how much I love to do that. Okay, then over here I made a list of the magical herbs that I have wrote down in my book of shadows. And I went out and I marked the ones that I could actually go and uh, collect naturally like uh, orange mint we have growing in our garden along with peppermint. Cattail usually grows by my uh, pond, but we don't have any this year for some reason. Cedar, you can go collect some bark off a cedar tree or even the leaves. I don't have much cedar around here. Um, clover you can collect naturally. Um, but around here what I collected was... Willow, I have a willow tree, Indian paintbrush, dandelion, echinacea, oak, I have an oak tree, and uh, like I said, the orange mint and peppermint we had growing in our garden, so I collected some of that today. Uh, you can collect mistletoe, moss, all kinds of good stuff, roses if you have wild roses that grow. Um, you can collect a lot outside, so that's what I did today. And I have them hanging up to dry right now. Here's my Indian paintbrush, willow, bergamot or orange mint, oak, dandelion, echinacea, and my peppermint. And then y'all know how I love to repurpose. So my mother and father-in-law saved their grandbabies uh, baby food jars. And I use them for putting them in after I grind them up and they're dry. So that's what I've been doing. Here's my simplified altar space. My altar faces the east so I have my east, south, my bowl for water for west, and my salt for earth, my goddess and god candle. Uh, I think this is like a possum skull but I thought it looked really cool to you know use as a correspondence for the god of the wild, so I thought that was neat. And it kind of scares people when they walk in here. <laughs> then I had an old shelf that had been sitting in my bathroom for a long, long time. And I've set it up here on my table. And I've used it to store my incense and powders that I've made. You know how much I love my red stripe bottles? There they are. And then this is where I'm going to start put it, storing my herbs. Right now I have basil, bay, catnip, cinnamon, cloves, dragon's blood, mugwort, myrrh, oregano, patchouli, pecan, rose, sandalwood, and thyme. And that's where those will go once they dry. Then I have my little shelf for my oils. Right there. Which I need to get more of and make more of. And then I thought this is neat. I have like the perfect little hidey hole for my book of shadows. Just kind of chill in there. And then my friend, Miss Raven. A lot of y'all probably know her. She gave this to me another day. I haven't figured out what I want to use it for. But so far I've been, I was storing my catnip in it while I was picking the leaves off as it was growing and letting them dry in there. So that worked good for that. And then my friend Linda Aldridge got me these little candle holders. And I just use it for my little pillar candles when I'm doing spells. 
So that's that. I hope y'all enjoy. I'll keep y'all in touch on how my herbs are going. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been busy shoeing horses. So y'all take care of yourselves. Blessed be.